Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have been trying to get the house cleaned up and get things organized because we were away at a show. And I don't know, but it just seems like there's never enough time in a day to get things done. So I am making a new batch of sauce. You guys saw a couple days ago I made sauce with all my tomatoes. I'm gonna try and pick all the rest of my tomatoes today, but there's a lot out there. But that's my sauce. It has seeds in it because I like sauce with seeds. Sam does not, but that's what happens sometimes. It tastes super good and I love it. So I am making all that sauce and I want to just try and finish all the tomato stuff. I'm done with the garden. Like I'm ready to be done with the garden. And so I came down. It rained last night so I didn't have to water. I came down this morning and I saw this. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a lot of tomatoes. Like there's no way. We're gonna be done with this. There's so many. So uh, Sam is losing his marbles today. He is freaking out. Do you guys know why? So any day now they'll post the results for the show that Gabby went to. She didn't do well. She did well in one thing that she needed to do well in and she did badly in the other things that she was already doing okay in. And so they're gonna show us what she can go to champs for. Maybe all of them. It's a very good possibility that she can go for everything. Well hello ladies. And anyway, so Sam is like booking everything, planning everything. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So uh, Sam is planning everything. Like um, uh, this week where he's planning, like he booked the dogs to go to uh, a dog thing and he booked somebody to come and help with the horses. Goodbye ladies, we'll see you guys when we get back. It's a lady day, it's a girl day. We'll be working with the girls today now that it's like kind of more the end of summer. Um, anyways, the kennel cough vaccine, they have to have that. So it's $90 a, a dog, so he has to take them and get them that this week. And then he had to book the kennel that we're gonna take them to. And, and then he's like, holy heck. Like the cost of champs, he wants me to do a video on the cost of champs. You guys wanna see a video on the cost of champs? And this is like just a uh, silver series a silver rated show like it's not like in Canada you guys have A's and and B shows and in, in Canada we have silver and gold this is just a silver series and I can't even imagine what next year is gonna be like yeah it's a lot it just for one kid even like it's insanity but anyway we're going and she's gonna have a good time and he's gonna get over it all right so Sam everybody wants to know how you feel about champ I don't want to go. I'm boycotting champs. Yeah, why are you boycotting champs? It costs too much money to go to champs. It costs so much money. Like, and it's not even like in the states. These girls go to the shows every single weekend for the whole entire year, and they're all big like this. And they like board their horses there for an entire week, not just for like three days. Crazy. TikTok to do for us. Okay, so it starts. This would make a great TikTok to do. What is it? Okay, so it's a little blind bag thing, and it comes with stuff in it. I don't know if this is what it tells you, but it comes in. So it comes with it, and you can actually like use the stuff, and it's so cute. Who's paying for it? Me. Literally, something is happening at Walmart. Like they have no food here. They have a bunch of toys. They have a bunch of toys. People are going to starve, but play with toys. So Daisy chewed through her collar. In, um, in the she, night. In the night. So Sophie bought a new one. It's a bit big. We just have to adjust it maybe. And it lights up. And what's really cool is that the color white is is designed for deaf dogs. You just loosened it. No, I did not loosen it. Alright, so Sam is still looking for accommodations. I need to really clean up our, our homeschool stuff and get that done. Like tomorrow. Anyway, so Sam is still looking up accommodations, trying to figure out where we're going to stay. Trying to figure out what is the most cost effective. Because um, with the hotel and taking the dogs to like a dog place, it's going to cost $1,300 just for, just for like dogs and living while we're away. So he's trying to figure out if we should do like a, what is it called? Airbnb? Airbnb? Something like that. It might be cheaper. So he's still working on that, but I have crazy news, you guys. You guys know how, like, we signed up for champs, but you don't get to just go to champs just because you show. You have to make it to champs. You have to get 
uh, in within the seventh place. So Gabby showed in three divisions and she messed up a whole show. Like she pretty much didn't even show in the last show. Except for the flat class, she, she the show that we went to, she brought it up. So that was really good. But for the jumping, she really didn't do anything. So she fell in place. So, so basically she can't even go to champs unless she makes it. Gabby, do you think you made it? Yes. You think you made it in all divisions? Yeah. All right, so she was sitting in the jumping rounds. She was sitting at fourth place, and then she failed all of them and got no points except for a fifth, and she dropped to sixth place. So, Gabby, you're going to champs for jumping. Awesome, right? Yeah. And then she was sitting at first in the medals, but she dropped because she her horse wouldn't jump the jump. And so she's still in the third. So you're going to champ for the medal class. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And then the last one is the flat, the B flat. She was sitting at eighth place, so she wasn't going to go to champs. And then we did the show, and she it brought her up to sixth place. Brought her up to sixth place. So, Gab, you're going to champs for all your divisions. Fourth. Did it bring you up to fourth or sixth? Brought me up to fourth. Fourth, that's right. Fourth place. So she's right now sitting at third, third, fourth, and sixth. third, fourth, and sixth. Yeah, third, fourth, and sixth. And that is after she messed up a whole show. A whole show, and she's sitting at third, fourth, and sixth. So yeah, she's going to champs and she's doing it all. We almost got kicked out of champs, you guys. I thought we were kicked out of champs. Thought we were definitely kicked out of champs because the last show was a crazy one. If you didn't see the videos, they are up on our channel right now. Gabby had her first fall and her first and her second almost fall and uh, it was insane. Hey guys, we're headed to the grocery store. Me and Gabby. Because we didn't realize, but Gabby is going away on... Hmm? Where are you going? I don't know. Bant's camp. Oh, <laughs> Bant's camp. camp. Camp tomorrow. I don't know if it's like two days, three days. Four days? Three. Three days, Tuesday to Thursday, she's going to camp, so we need to get some money and we need to get some food for camp, so we're ready for camp. Yeah, you have to ready. leave at nine, walk down. Yeah. So, Alright, we're looking for lunch and I like to have this for lunch, so I'm going to get this. What are you having for lunch? Yeah, that's gross. No, this is dip and cheese and... Dip, dip cheese and grapes. I want apples with the caramel dipping sauce. Oh, all right, find apples. We have caramel sauce at home. Do we have caramel sauce at home? It may be for ice cream, but it still tastes the same. All right, get some apples. They're over there. Apples and caramel sauce. How many people eat that stuff? Um. One, one extra. For your horse? One extra after. An extra. <laughs> Alright. What else do you want? Do you want one of those? Oh, I don't like this. Muffins? No. Cookies? No. No cookies or muffins? Bread? Not just plain cheese bread. No, but you, you cut it you cut it up or you can get buns cut up put meat in it. Okay, get some bread. Buffalo ranch season they have seasoning. Oh look at that, you can put it on anything, on your french fries. On your chicken. Yeah. Seasoned chicken. That would be awesome. Be Grab what you want. Do you want pizzas? One's got pepperoni on it though. I know. I want two cheese, one pepperoni. Alright, let's go. What else do you need? I gotta put the buns back. One's back. Gabby's breaking the store. Never bring your kids to the store. 100 of them. We're done. That's it. We're done. Our grocery shop for camp. Breakfast of champions. Right here. Cereal. <laughs> That's not a breakfast of champions. If it was me, if it was me, I'd be getting chocolate. I'd be getting pepperettes, and I uh, like I like this vegetable like thing. I like these vegetable things. I'd be getting those too. Anyways, do you want pepperettes? No. All right, we're ready. There you go. 
champion. Me with my lunch. Champ. Food for lunch. I'm back from the store and I'm out here with Sophie. Hi. She's somewhere there. And what I like to do all the time, I don't like to do it, has to get done every single time. Do you know what it has to be? You know what I have to do all the time? I have to check the fence and make sure it's still getting electricity. I can hear it. But can you feel it? I'm not touching it. So one way to test fence is by touching it. Well, oh, go ahead. No. That's why I brought you down to the barn. No. I brought you, I brought you down to the How barn. How you guys touch to it? To test the fence. All right. Anyways, since she doesn't want to do it, it doesn't matter because I got this little tester here. Little tester I bought. You. It's got a long wire, and you stick it in the ground. The ground has to be actually wet for a better continuity. And then you touch the fence with it. And see? The lights? That means it's active, man, and I don't want to touch it. Right? Yeah. Now we gotta do this all the way along the fence. You wanna try it? No, that's just you. I don't know. I mean, we'll know it's not working if we go too far. Yeah, yeah sure. So, just have to stick it in there a little bit. Oh my, God, the there's a bumblebee. oh my God, there's a bumblebee. Push, push it down. No, it's good. It's good like that. Let's stick it to the fence. There it is. See the lights going? That's how you know it's good. Okay. So we need to dig it out and go further down. That's what we do. We have to keep going down. I mean, we can cut this whole process out by going to the end of the fence over there. And if it doesn't work, then we have to walk. Oh my God, my cat! Oh, your cat came back. Oh, she always comes at night. Always at night. Every time at night, he comes. Excuse you, it's a he. Yeah, he always I comes. to test you. He always comes at night and sees me. Always. He's following us right now. He's following us. He knows I give him scratches all the time. And I give him a scratch, and that makes it positive for him every time. I know, but All right. All right. It doesn't have to go in that far. How are we doing? Lights. I see lights. See? Lights. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's only one so far. Let's go to the other side. How about we test down here? Oh, yeah. Let's go to the other side. Let's test the end. You see lights? Yep. And the top one? You see lights? You see lights? No. Sometimes you got to move it around so that it hits the wire that's in it. Because there's a small thin wire in there. Do you see it? I hear it. There you go. I see lights. I can hear it. There's a small thin wire in this plastic wire. And it uh, carries the current. Well, we know it works because when Molly was wet, she touched it. Okay, here you go. So we know it works. So we're in business. Right, so that's done and uh, I decided tonight we are going to feed the horses outside. Okay, so we're going to leave them out here. Like when, before we had Penny, the minis were out here all day. We never put them in stalls. I mean, when we had, when we had our three horses home, a couple, uh, like last winter, yeah, winter before we had the minis outside all day and we closed the barn door and kept them there. Oh my god, that's my cat. In the winter time. Oh! Honey! He's back. I don't want to touch the fence. He just touched me. He'll come. He'll come right to the barn because he knows that he wants his scratches. Alright. He knows. Okay. Anyways, we uh, had Storm, Chino, and Finn here but during COVID and we kept the two minis in the barn and we just closed the barn door in the in the uh at night but i mean really they can go out they can be out all night why not why be cooped up for seven hours in a stall or six hours or eight hours or however long when they can just be outside so tonight is going to be the tester i'm going to 
test them out and make sure they're all right tonight. And, and yeah, so that's the plan. The tricky part is that they think they're coming in now, so <laughs> they'll try and push their way through the door. That's the tricky part. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna feed them in the barn and see how that works. Feed them in the indoor arena and see how that works. You ready, Penny? You're gonna be outside tonight. We'll see how that works. See if you like it. It's probably cooler outside too. Do you wanna grab this or? I'll get the door. All right, move them away. Feed them away from the door. Oh, there. Can you grab Gracie's because she gets fed last? Because she's the one getting pushed away. Nope, go with, go with Sophie. Go with Sophie, go with Sophie. See, she thinks I... Penny. Yeah, this is a trick. Well, she's doing that. All right, while you're doing that, I'm feeding Gracie. And there you have it. I don't know how that's... I don't know how that's going to work, but anyways, I'm going to put the hay outside now. Got it? Yep. And the key to this is to feed them. While they're eating that, I can put out the hay. And when they're done eating that, they'll come out and eat the hay. So I'll just spread the hay around. Holy jeez, Penny, you're slow. You better heat up, man. Be quick about it. There's Willow. She's already out getting the hay. And poor little... Where is he? He's still there? Ollie's out there still. He wanted to scratch, but never got it yet. Willow's out there eating. They're going to go out and eat soon. So that's a good way. You can monitor how much they eat as well. So... They can stay a good weight, and uh, I think tomorrow morning they're going to be fed in here again. What are you doing? All right, so tomorrow morning they'll be fed in here again because the farrier is coming. Do your nails. So we'll feed them in here tomorrow morning, and they'll get their nails done. And then they'll probably go out in the pasture. Okay, so I recommend feeding the horse that's the bossiest first, or else they'll push the other horse off their Yeah, well, that's why we feed Penny first usually. Yeah, but she won't fall. Anyways, so that's it for today's video now. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?